Hello everybody and welcome back to Witcher 3 The Wild Hunt with just uh, Alright, in the last episode we buried the Butchling to make it into a Lubber King here trying to break the curse! Fought away through a lot of spectres. I think we also saved the princess and the goat there. Oh. It was a long episode last time. Still. So sit and wait. Unlike the last time, the first time I did it, I actually just waited and meditated 24 hours. Like, yeah, now it's gonna be... Oh, no, it didn't. You actually had to then sit here and wait anyway. We're gonna see here, wait to midnight again. And By how did it go? power, I summon you. With your name, I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea. Is she coming? Is Dea coming? What's up in your nose? It looked like you had something there. Do you have a book of relic, really? Lead me Hi to there. those bound oh. to you by blood. And not the Baron. The other two. And not some distant relative. Your mother and sister, okay? That's the one I'm looking for. Yep. Let's follow the Lubbock. Nobody else gonna worry about the glowing floating baby. Or fetuses, whatever you wanna call it. Oh, hey there. You're pretty slow, you know? Apparently because I could catch up very easily with you. Hmm. Oh, lightning again. Oh, ominous. Wonder if I, there'll be another fire then. I mean, I haven't noticed that in the future where I actually come from. But maybe... no, doubt it. But maybe that actually was the fire then that started it. I mean, it was only Geralt's guess we had there before, but maybe it was right! Or maybe the Baron turned his own castle on fire while he was drunk. I'm not sure which I want to believe. Hmm. Okay, yeah, of the main gate, I could have guessed that much. I mean, they, I doubt they would have taken the road through the well where that hag was. The water hag, right? That's the name of her? I think so. Oh, Drowness. Wonder, wonderful. Oh, sorry, Drowness, I don't have time with you. This baby is just showing the way over here instead. Oh. There you go. Not that house, okay? I thought it was that house, but apparently I was wrong! Oh. Oh. Ah, oh, this place then. Am I right? Uh, am I right? I'm right, right? Yeah. Here, boy! You wanna tell me something? Hey, girl? <sighs> sure wasn't lavender they kept in there. Might be worth looking around, though. Okay, let's see. Such a... Ooh. Ah, here we have something. Horseshoes! Or horse track, rather. Horseshoe. Or the horseshoe, no actually. No way could afford a horse. Oh, bitch burner. Okay, so that's what I had in here, and this is... A bracelet. One of oh. them must have dropped it. Yeah, very neatly on the barrel they dropped it. I mean, I would be more like, yeah, she put it down there themselves, but Clothing. no. They change in here. Apparently so. Both we're here. I'm going the right way. Yeah, wonderful. So. Wants to no show what? me something more. Yeah, good, because they aren't here. It isn't much help to see, unless I'm gonna follow hoof track on the main road. Maybe not the main road, but our road. Oh really? You have to... And Drega, yeah, I remember you doing something, and you're way too powerful now. Here, not so much, or well, maybe it's because I'm higher level, more prepared, or something like that. Wait for me, baby! Wait for me, dear! Oh, good you waited for me. You have a nice glowing estate, you know. That baby ass. Flow it all the way up. So, how far is it? Should I get a pona? You know? Although you don't seem to be moving fast just because I'm catching up or running by you even. I mean, I should probably be thankful that you're following my speed, but still. If you went faster, we could have taken Apuna with us. Oh, 
Ruffin, this exploding bastard. I remember you also though, you were in chapter 2 in Witcher 2. Yeah, ex away, away, away! He's exploding! It's a thing, just there is. Field day. Yeah. With a closer look. Oh! Holy shit, someone has died there. Something. Someone. Ah, uh, but. Wait. Yeah, we got it by it. Eight more wolves' liver. Oh, another one. Well! Burn! A bit! And a burn in the flames of hell! Together with all other sinners. Like Hitler! And someone else that I don't know. I don't know. Probably that guy that always leaves hate on YouTube. Yeah, you also gonna burn it. Oh no, he's exploding. Yeah, should have known. Holy sh how many more are there gonna be? I don't remember it being this hard the first time around. I remember it being hard, but still. Eating a little bit. There we go, going away, going away. You can explode how much you want. No what, Rothfin? You're flaming! Have I ever told you that? Now can we... Examine that horse carcass. Yeah, we will. Now when everyone is dealt with. Anybody is here now, only Rothfin bodies, I hope. Oh, the horse's head it lost. It, what? The horse's head it lost. Yeah! Me no speak good English! What do we have here? The horse had lost its head. Well, let's look at the bones. Bones have been here a while. Okay, the saddle. What about it? Chewed on the saddle. Necrophages will eat anything these days. Okay. The ribs. What are you telling me about that? Giant claws. Wasn't a necrophage made these marks. Okay, giant claws. Legs. What do you tell about the legs? Horseshoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? Probably then. Otherwise, why would the Lubikin want to show you this one? Head torn clear off. Takes incredible strength. So great class and incredible strength. Let's summarize it. What animal is it? Must what have been beast? attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. A powerful beast. Really? You're supposed mm. to have a lot Trail of knowledge. I could also say Good a powerful thing it beast. End here. With that. Yeah, big claw and immense strength. Guess what? It's a powerful beast. Uh, God damn it, Jarl. Oh, damn it. So. I wonder why you're actually just following the road. I mean, should a spirit will have a recollection of a road, especially a baby spirit here? A fetus, a botchling, lubikin, whatever you wanna call it. <laughs> Like it wouldn't really care anything about road. It would just take the straightest road way it could, and then be to me like, yeah, deal with all the stuff. Can you burn them now? Thank you, finally. Try burn something over and over again, and it just don't wanna catch fire. No, let the moon die. It does don't wanna catch in fire. Huh? Over here? Is it here, girl? Are we on the right track now? So... The Miga. Huh? Oh, this seems to be the right place out of here then. Hey. A fisherman's hut. Seems she wants me to take a closer look. Anything here? Well, let's just go inside and talk to the folks. Hi there! Surprise! It's your old of Rivia. The blue picture of Badakin or something like that. Uh, the room. Go on now. What you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. Really? Just need information. Looking for two women, the Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure, not even passing through. Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, mummy? Quiet boy! 
Um, who do you see? A girl who stayed with you? What happened to her? Uh, who do you see in the sky? Yeah, what happened to her? What's Where'd the... the girl go? Your son said enough. No point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir, but you don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is high. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another tale. Though anywhere's better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Cause... Cause he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. Uh, okay, you. Where is the Baron's wife? What happened to Tamara's mother? Ah, for like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. Cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had risen high, and still they hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched them. But finally they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose. Thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising a racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. Toward then I saw it. Fiery marks on her hands. Hmm. Have I seen that before? Hmm. Yeah, tell me about these marks. Are they like the black mark in Pirates of Caribbean? What marks? No, the one that's called they, the Kraken. Well, like burned on with okay, hot Okay, they are not. On the palms, inside. Burned? Like a cattle brand? Aye, though these wasn't black scars scabbed over. They's hot and glowing, as if they burned with raw fire. Okay, maybe something from the Eternal Flame, maybe? Um, let's see. What happened next? Fine, what happened next? Grew even darker. Seems someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden. And then, from the woods, a roar. Oh, so it does call a beast. So it is almost like Broke a Broke out mark. in a cold sweat. And before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for eyes. Oh. I thought I was done for. Beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Okay. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy-nilly. It was the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for her mother. But my wife pleaded, said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. Okay. So why did you help them exactly? I mean, you're a fisherman, they're the barons, wife and daughter. Aren't really like you would have met or anything like that, why right? Why help them at all? You risked a lot. Yeah. Why the debt? Old Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara learnt it, brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to help. But my missus told me, a time of war and contempt's come. A time of folk gone wrong. We needs to repay good with good. Who stands by idly does evil as if. Married a wise woman. Crying shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the end. Maybe we can, though. I mean, we, we'll try it at least. We haven't gone that far into the future yet, so I don't know if we will ever succeed. I don't even know what that beast it is. Thank you for your help, though. 
Thanks for your help. The lady. She'll be all right in the end, won't she? Hopefully. Hopefully. I'll do what I can to see that she is. Yeah. <laughs> so find Tamara the Baron start with an oxen fort or a why stop pushing me around? How are you so damn strong? I should send you off to the base then. Instead. Oh! Alright, oh, the Lubikin. With that sweet baby ass. Here our paths diverge. Thank you, Dea. Yeah. Go in peace. Wait, you seem like she will disappear forever. Weren't you supposed to protect the family, stay now the home there forever? Something like that, right? Oh, level up. Wonderful! No. Up on now, to me, my friend. Come on, where are you? Ah, there you are again. Come here. Come here. Come here. Listen to your master. I'm the master of all the horses. Henry will return That's to the Baron to tell him about what happened so far. Hopefully. And then after we come our most way there, then I will have catched up again with the beauty we made the future come true after all. Yay! And we will return there. Wait, Doc, where are we gonna go? We need to go back, Martin! Back to the future! <gasps> yeah, something like that. I'm not good at voices or anything there, I just say them anyway, like yeah. and things just sound really stupid anyway. So we're gonna talk with the Baron otherwise, also here. So, have you enjoyed this episode? Then please leave a like. And if you don't wanna miss the next one, then subscribe. You'll never miss another video unless I fuck up again or YouTube fuck up or something else bad happen. Maybe lightning hit everyone's computer or the Skynet come to life and then we won't have internet anymore or something like that. Then you won't get it even if you subscribe. But otherwise, see... Oh, hey right! That's right. Faster. There was something else we had. Him. I'm sorry for that. Outro. Yep. Yep, sure, my friend. We got. I gonna draw my weapon. I thought the episode had gotten a little shorter. So here, this is the one we also met. One of the my favorite characters. Oh. Yeah. Standing Jew, I challenge you. Sure thing. Boots a bit big, maybe. Careful not to trip. Halt, I say. I am Ronvid of the Small Marsh, bound by a sacred oath. Oh, that's rough. My sympathies. <laughs> to honor Maid Bilberry, fairest of all maids I know, by dueling a hundred knights to the death. Now, draw your sword post haste, for I have ninety nine left after you. So I'm the first one, really. <laughs> oh. Why you? Why do you want to fight me? Hmm. Why are you challenging me? Don't recall doing anything to offend the maid Bilberry. Yeah. Well. Uh, why? Um. Then swear. Swear. Maid Bilberry's the most loveliest of all. Thing is, I've never laid eyes on her. Aha! Ah! I shall wash your scorn away with thy blood fiend. Stand and fight. Oh. You have to do this. Oh. Wrong with. Yeah. Mm. Defend your mates on her all you want. I'm still gonna kick your ass. Because even though you're such a high level, you're really easy. Oh. Had enough. Bye, friend. Yes. Look, stood with you. But, but the next time we meet... Uh, get out of my sight. Go back to Maid Bilberry and apologize for being an ass. Quick, before I change my mind and break your bones. Yeah. We shall meet again. I hope so. I want you to come back in every area now from time to time like... Uh, what's that name of that octopus in... Uh, uh, Final Fantasy 6. He that just come back stronger and stronger in like really silly. I want him to come back here as that. I like him after that reason that I like. 
Yeah, so my main builder is the first of the lot. Uh, but I've never seen that. Then I shall watch your score away. Let's go. Remind me a little bit of Tom Coyote, maybe. And all that. Oh. Take it easy. <sighs> but as I said, we're going to end the episode here. So if you enjoyed it, then please Your leave a like. And if you don't want to miss the next one, then subscribe. You'll never miss a video unless you to fuck up and all the other things I said. And otherwise, until next time, goodbye!